Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. I'm at Bolivar Peninsula, Gilchrist, Galveston County. It's where I filmed the video of these sunglass keepers that the Chinese company stole from me. Stole my footage without my permission. But And they still haven't responded back to me when I reached out. But other than that, uh, this goal, the, this trip had two goals. One is to shoot film. You know, I have three film cameras, medium format, and um, one was to catch crabs with my friend Marino and possibly see his brother Daniel, who you've heard about and know. And my dad and his girlfriend are down here as well, and they're doing their thing right now. But anyways, uh, I went through the trouble of taping up my viewing window to prevent light leaks. I've been shooting with this, just one roll so far. I, I'm, I'm working on my first roll. And I've shot several pictures, one of my dad that he's not too proud of because, um, you know, he's not dressed really nice. You know, he's just, you know, he's in his fishing stuff or his work stuff. And, um, and then I've taken some pictures of some statues that I'll put one of those uh, statues in here. I haven't developed this film yet, but you can see one of the statues I took a picture of. I did a double exposure of that and another statue. So it looks like, so theoretically it looks like one statue's remembering or um uh, or uh looking back fondly on another statue that was my goal with that picture i took pictures of shrimp boats fishing boats um my tea my um uh what you call it my um uh key lime pie this is black and white film and um i did i made an epic mistake now i don't think it's going to bother me too much theoretically but this is the camera. After I shot all my pictures, and I had a great conversation with a lady at the restaurant, at the Stingery restaurant. Uh, it's the local seafood restaurant. Uh, and Marina is a Marina and restaurant. And they have a you hook it, we cook it deal. But yeah, uh, this woman flagged me down. She's like, I noticed you have this camera. I have, some, I have a couple of those. And she was asking me how I shot with it. Like how I shot... Uh, took pictures with it because she didn't know where to get the film and uh you know how to get a hold of that film and put it in here um uh, although she probably knows how to load it but now with um medium format uh film not being as popular you kind of have to rig it a little bit anyways we had an awesome conversation i told her how to shoot with this camera i told her where to get it developed uh online that will give her a lot of options of sharing the footage and uh, getting prints and stuff and um, I came home to write in my journal about my amazing conversation with this lady about this brownie Hawkeye and I started looking at the uh, lens ah uh, now you're probably thinking to yourself oh crap you broke the camera no 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 I did not break the camera um, there's the recording thing um, this is number 13 Kodak close-up attachment. I'm one of those guys who buys accessories for their antiquated cameras. And um, this is for close-up photos. The, I've only taken two close-up photos, uh, which is my tea and my key lime pie. And um, so uh, hopefully they will turn out. Now you'll notice this is just a magnifying glass basically. And you notice that it doesn't distort the image that much. So hopefully the pictures will just be a little bit zoomed in or maybe cropped a little bit differently. Or maybe they will, um, you know, maybe it's just a more zoomed in picture. Hopefully it's not bringing things out of focus. But yes, I shot with this. And it's just a press fit on my camera, which that's the actual lens right there. Very embarrassing as an amateur photographer to leave your attachments on your uh, lenses when you don't need them. So that's funny. And now I have to keep up with this. I have to put it somewhere where I won't lose it. And I can still shoot with this. I also have my uh, two Holgas. I'm probably only going to use one of the Holgas. The pinhole wide uh, uh, angle uh, or panoramic Holga. The pinhole panoramic Holga. And I'm hoping to shoot with that pinhole in this. I brought the other Holga just because. Why not? 
And I also brought my digital Canon 90D for wildlife photography. So that's it, I thought I'd share that with you. And I thought it was kind of, like when I saw the, um, let's see if I can get this where you can see it. When I saw that and I, and uh, it says close up attachment, I was like, ah, oh, dang it, dang it. <laughs> Uh, cause you know, if you were shooting digital and you realize that things look different on your camera cause you have the, uh, you have an attachment on, you will change that cause you can see instantly what the photo's going to look like. This takes about $30 to develop one roll of film and depending on the roll of film, it can be anywhere from six to 12 to like maybe seven shots, depending on what kind of camera and, uh, what the, um, uh, you know, um, um, film gate is like. Anyways, I'm Austin. Stay frosted.